Welcome to November 2020 Energy Trends. I'm Danielle Rama Hoffman of divinetransmissions.com. So glad you're here. This is Toth with Sanat Kumara. The rose panel, beings of light and love, including Isis, Sashat, and many beings of love and light moving more into the forefront of this divine transmission. We are delighted to be continuing our energy trends exploration in the month of November in the year 2020. We will bring in some light language and love language to be transmitting energetically what we will then be unpacking together once it's come through. So if you're new to light and love language, or even if you've been immersed in it already, we bring it forward to really be a way of being with your totality, to really be speaking to your wholeness, to be speaking to not only your beautiful mind and body and emotions, yet also your entire self, your energy self, your divine self, and like color and the languages of light also gives you some moments where you can receive always in line with your free will and conscious choice without having to understand instantly from the level of the mod logical mind. Now, of course, you are understanding what's unfolding and you are experiencing it and you're discerning and you are aware and yet it just gives your mind a rest. It's like for some, when you meditate, you can fall asleep and in that falling asleep, there can be more that you receive than if you're awake. Now that isn't always the case. So if you choose, we invite you to really on the altar of equality, equanimity, divine to divine, to recognize that you are also the origin of this light language transmission, as well as receiving it, to just simply allow and here we go. November 2020. Tia Nahuni, Iana And we'll translate as we go along here. Anu Umin Kanto Usti, November 2020. Di Anu Usti, Anu Uko Uti Ina Anto Huko Shti an invitation to discern and align anu umia iana okoshti stihikan ianania having your capacity fully turned on as to what 
is optimal for you in each and every now moment, whether that is what you wear, what you eat, what you and who you engage with, your inner movements, your outer movements, anya nuhumiyan kantahatiya, that you are in touch with in any now moment what is optimal for you. Ani ishto humbiyan kanta anya nuukutisti ki kanta with this leading from your inner compass, anumia nan umistihi katahatia, you are creating even more actively ikatahanto ina anumina stuhushtisti, that which is aligned for you. Diahania. In the old paradigm, the word discernment, nihaniana hana humian kanti ka nihana anu umian kanti stahaya, may have related to your intellect, unihinana ankoshti, discerning with your logical mind, unihina anama ankoshti. Or in the old paradigm, discerning may have been experienced through a, a filter of hypervigilance or like an over uh, vigilance looking for danger, anyana anya. And of course, your sympathetic nervous system is still intact in any paradigm, yet there's other things that are happening in the multidimensional planes that allows you to discern in a now moment to not cross the street in front of a truck that's coming, including looking both ways. What we mean by discernment and knowing what's optimal for you in each and every now moment is really that you have reconnected to inahana anama ankushti that inner flow that inner alignment and the practice of that and we would say it is a practice the practice of that also opens up greater possibilities and that greater possibilities are available to you in each and every now moment. Greater possibilities is the energy trend theme that we're bringing in, even though we're speaking about it through discernment and being in touch with your inner compass and uh, knowing what's optimal for you in each and every now moment, that this anhikantahantahumi Ina ana ana ikatiwa koshti stihi greater possibilities through your knowing what's best for you in each and every now moment, knowing what's optimal for you in each and every now moment. It naturally uncouples you from the one size fits all mentality of the old paradigm of separation or tribal consciousness. So you may choose to have one area that you highlight of really being your practice ground for discerning in each now moment, not in a way that drives you crazy because it's really flowy and innate and natural, yet discerning each now moment of that one area that you're continually asking what's optimal for me. So it may be around food, 
that rather than eating because it's whatever time o'clock when you usually eat, you ask, is it, what's the optimal now moment for me to eat? It may be around what you eat. Is it optimal to eat this or that? And it may be in other areas as well. So part of this, and it is multidimensional, is that that is a part of your birthright. And we know especially for highly sensitive empaths who care so much about others and have the capacity to be connected vibrationally in a very conscious way to what's going on, sometimes it can be much easier to know what's best for someone else than actually what's best for you. And that continuation of the I in the we, the individualized oneness. So the individuality of that is that rather than just taking for granted that you love watermelon because you loved it as a kid, maybe now you tune in and say, and you discern, do I still love watermelon? Is it optimal for me to have this watermelon in this now moment? And it may be, it may be. Anya no umia, anhi kata hakoshti, tia hani ina anama ankoshti stihi kanti, ani ina ana udni ina ana ana umia. So we would complete it this time, and we are acknowledging your contribution to the evolution in consciousness. All is light and love, and we are.